made it to Scott's. We'll drop out those rotating assemblies to get balanced. See how backed up they use in here. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, how much? Not much. Got a couple balance jobs to drop off. All right. Sounds like a All right, you got one. Uh, just pop it open with this valve thing, the door. Yeah, yeah, I get it for you. I okay. Welcome back to the channel. See, we got a clean second gen Camaro sitting back there in the cut, getting his way on his way out the door. Uh, but let's talk about this thing here. So, y'all remember the previous video? We completed the short block, and I haven't did anything to it, but laid some head gaskets up here. Now, right here, we have a committed head gasket. I don't have no type of special coating or anything on it. It's just laid up there like. Bam, laid up there just like that. I want to say these are 40,000 thickness on the gaskets, if I can remember correctly. Let's come over here to the engine table. We have the supercharger here. Now I just got it laid up here. It's not on correctly if you're looking at it. Yes, so it's not on the right way. Just got it laid up here, laid out so you guys can see it. Um, caught this thing at Summit, man, on scratch and dent. Think I got a good deal for it. And yeah, this is a YM177. It's got a stock pulley on it as of right now. Um, and it seems to be in good shape. It has oil in it, proper level. Um, just got to get a gasket for it, but going to get this thing installed today. Also, cylinder heads. So try to help you guys out when you're picking out cylinder heads. For this particular engine, I decided to go with Edelbrock E-Tech Series. Now, this is a 210 um, CC intake runner head. The reason that I chose this one is simply because I have a lot of engine with AFRs on it and I have a lot of people that want to know why and how different heads work. So on this engine, by it being a smaller engine in a 3 series stroker motor, and we're going to try to put it up against some of the larger engines, the reason I went with the Edelbrock is because you have a lot of other heads like, uh, let's say, Flowtech, Promax. Um, heads like those pro comps, they may have a larger intake runner like a 200cc intake runner, but they have the smaller 202 and 160 valves. So on this head right here, we got the larger 208 intake valves, 160 exhaust valves. And the thing is, you want to be able to move air. So by us having a supercharger forcing air, we want to be able to get as much volume as much as a volume of air in and out as possible so with the larger intake valve that allows us to i'm going to say consume or get it out of the engine which equals horsepower so the more you can get in and out the more power you can make so we're going to see Edelbrock make good they make good cylinder heads um i've used their bit the junior series man about 10 years ago on a small block 400 and it did very very well so I decided to switch it up a little bit and we're going to try the Edelbrock series since I got several engines with the AFRs on them of all different sizes. We're going to start a small stroker motor with a 210. Now, I'm not saying this particular head will work on someone on the next 383 stroker or 355, but being that this is a stroker, I went with this series. Now, if it had been a 355, I probably would have went with an Edelbrock, maybe a 195 probably would have been more suited for the smaller motor. Um, but we're gonna see how well they work, man. So y'all hang around. Let's not waste no more time. Let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so right here I'm getting ready to install the cylinder heads, and I'm just laying the heads on the block, send them on the dial pins in place. Then what I normally do, as you all know, is take the bolts, get some ARP assembly lube, um, apply the assembly lube to the threads of the bolts. Then I take the bolts, take three of the bolts, and then I screw them in to start a couple of the threads by hand before torquing the uh, rest of the bolts down. Yo, I'm gonna show you how to check for proper push rod length. It's gonna help a lot of you guys when you put your engine together, you don't know what push rods to get. Instead of going in the store and just saying, give me those, I'm gonna show you how you check to make sure you got the proper push rod length. So got my Sharpie right here. Gonna take and color the tip. 
of the valve. Color your tip of your valve. And you're gonna grab rocker on. Just place it on top. And you want to make sure that your lifter is all the way down when doing this. Alright, you snug it up. Once you snug it up, you rotate the engine one full revolution. And you'll see that that valve is starting to open. It opens fully, and then it closes. Once it does that, remove your poly lock. Remove the rocker. And let's take a look and see what we got. So, looking at this valve, the marking is kind of off. But if you look at that mark, now if you was to just say, running it all the way across that valve tip. You see the light shiny area on the center of the valve tip, which is, let me grab some of the point. Let's see. All right, this area right here, where the shiny part is. All right. That determines where your rocker arm rides on the valve tip. So if you look at the little shiny area right here, if it's too far back this way, your push rods are too short. If it's too far forward, your push rods are too long. You want your mark to be center on the valve tip. If you have it center on the valve tip, it's gonna ride, the, ro the roller tip is gonna ride along the valve in the center and ensure that it opens and closes the valve riding with all of the um, tension on the center of the valve tip. You have it too far back here with your rockers on with a lot of spring pressure, it can wear out the tip of the valve here, here, and you'll have an incorrect uh, your your valve train your valve train geometry is gonna be incorrect. Yep, folks, and we got it about wrapped up. We're about 90% done. Uh, I just got the blower sitting up here right now. Had to double check, make sure I had the right thermostat housing for my clearance. And you got to have the stock one with the low profile, not the one with the raised tunnel for the boat here. It's got to be low profile for the stock boats on both sides. Uh, But yeah, man, that's it. So only thing I have left to do right now Get ready to drop this thing down in there. And as y'all can see, well, you might can't, but I went on ahead and I had to stop pulling on earlier, but I had already had the smallest pull that they make for this blower. So I went on ahead and installed it, man. We ain't, ain't no need of starting out stock and, and gradually adding in boost. I want all mines and I want it now. So we coming out the gate. Smallest pulley, supposed to be a 10 pound pulley. Probably won't make but about seven, but whatever it make, I want it all. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Lay round, man. Going all the way down. Supercharged engine motor sound.